Good morning, this is Kai Vial coming at you with another video of Coffee and Jesus. Here we go. All right, today is Monday, April 11th, and I feel, I don't know exactly where this study's going, but I feel the Lord speaking to me and what my mind has been focused on is the idea of all of us every day going to work, doing our daily routine, going through the motions, and a lot of times we live in our minds and there's all sorts of things happening in your mind. We make create a lot of mental projections. A lot of times we're always thinking about the future. We're thinking about the past. Sometimes we don't even embrace the present moment and you, you get out of alignment to even enjoying the life that God has given you. In fact, every day is a gift. Every breath is a gift. Every moment is a gift. God, wants to breathe upon you by his spirit and sometimes we're just so much into our minds that we don't allow god in i've learned the past several years to actually get out of my mind and into the spirit and just getting in tune with the spirit even when i notice i worship god in church and i worship by the spirit but yet some of the times things are happening inside my mind so i have to take another step back constantly to get out of my mind and allow the Holy Spirit just to have his way in me. So this is, and this is a huge difference of what people think of what spiritualism is and true Christianity is, and even amongst Christians don't even know how to be in tune with the Spirit because the Holy Spirit is saying something and doing something. And for our minds to be aligned with God, you know, even just before I was meditating, our minds many times are out of alignment with God's will. Our minds are elsewhere. And so we need the renewing of our mind to be transformed so that we have the mind of Christ that we can discern God's will. And when you can discern God's will, you can be able to make better decisions. You see, there's a, there's a, a terrible theology and doctrine that's out there. This idea that God is in control. Even though Jesus said that, you know, you're going to hear rumors of war. You, you know, all these things are going to take place. These things must take place. But that's not God's will either for war and, and such things like that. In fact, God's will is for everyone to be saved, but not everyone gets saved. You see? So God's not in control. When you see a person going out and killing people, God's not in control of that person. So that theology and what people keep preaching for some reason is that God is in control to try and make them feel better. But no, in fact, we're supposed to be praying. We're supposed to be warriors in the Holy Spirit. We're supposed to be doing good works by faith. You see in the New Testament, our faith is produced, supposed to produce fruit where we take action, where we go and meet the needs of the homeless and the needy. In fact, the, the roots of the church of how it began the the they took the wealthy and they dis, uh, sold their assets to distribute amongst the people so that everyone's needs were met but no um some people lied and they actually died right then and there because the power of god was there and there the, you can't have lies and sin in the midst of god's power like god's power was potent right there when the church just started you can look at the book of acts with Anani and ananias and sapphira so, so here's the thing, is that our minds can deviate from God's will. So that's why we have the word of God, that we can look at what God's will is, and we can discern for ourselves. And even in the experience of this life, even though I've read the entire Bible from cover to cover, my faith is still being stretched every single day to even have vision for the future and have faith that God is going to do it. And that he's leading and guiding me. He's the author and finisher of my faith. So I still put it back to him. And I have to remind myself, my own carnal mind, to rest in that place of faith. Because that's the gift that God has given us. The peace of God that transcends understanding. It says in Proverbs 3, 5, Do not lean on your own understanding, but trust in the Lord. You cannot even lean on your own understanding, even if you understand so many things. It's not Nothing compares to what God's thoughts are and his ways. In Isaiah it says, my thoughts are not your thoughts, my ways are not your ways. So we cannot even get to the full extent or the whole scope of God's 
perfect will. But what our job is to actually come into agreement with God's will. So that's why Jesus teaches us to pray, may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, your kingdom come. So my prayers is always is for your kingdom to be established here on earth, for your perfect will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. And I don't know the full scope of God's plans or his will, but my duty is to play my part in the body of Christ and in the grand plan that God has. And that, uh, again, releases the burden off of me. See, Jesus says, come to me um, for those who are, you know, heavy laden along those lines. Um, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Uh, so God, so Jesus wants us to take upon his yoke and his yoke is easy and his burden is light. When you're under a yoke of oppression and um, hardship, that may not be Jesus' yoke. Even though we may share in the sufferings of Christ, which could be persecution, and such things, um, or wherever God leads you, because God can actually lead you into the wilderness, like God, the Holy Spirit, led Jesus into the wilderness to be tempted for 40 days without food or drink. But the Holy Spirit led him. You have to allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. Whatever trials and tribulations you face, allowing the Holy Spirit to lead you. So this is my meditation about everyday routine. You go to work, which we're called to go to work, because that's what it says right in the beginning of Genesis, that God gave the land to Adam and Eve to have dominion over, to subdue the land, and to take care of the land. So we are supposed to take care of this earth. We are supposed to take care of the land. We're supposed to have dominion. And that's exercising our will and taking care of things. But God wants us to also fellowship with him. And I believe that's the main purpose of creation and, and our purpose as mankind, to have fellowship with God. So having daily fellowship. And Jesus says every day, deny yourself and follow me. So the following of Jesus is, is a fellowship where we have to walk and step with him. So I urge you and encourage you in every single video I say to spend time with the Holy Spirit, to spend time with God, to spend time in the Word but also to ask God, to engage with God, to, I'm praying every single day. This is why I make these videos. I can actually speak from my own experience. Every day I'm acknowledging God. Every day I'm worshiping Him. I, I just listen to K-Love Radio, and I listen to um, worship music. So, but people, you know, you're missing out on your blessing because you're out of step in fellowship with your Creator, but there's a setting apart from the world, so not everyone gets into it. Not everyone sets themselves apart. That means you have to be a non-conformist, not conforming to the ways of the world, but being transformed by the renewing of your mind in fellowship with God to be a vessel for him so that God can use you accordingly. And he can speak to your heart and you can actually translate that and, and give a good word to somebody who needs it. And that's what it's like in obeying God. You listen and hear his voice through the word of God and by his spirit. And allow him to give you discernment and revelation. And you walk in step with him. So so increasing your discernment. and and But you have to actually engage with God. You actually have to ask God for wisdom and revelation. For discernment. For understanding. For him to lead you and guide you. And he will confirm things with you. This is what is really what spirituality, real spiritual people are like. When you start stepping in the, the ways of God, you get to know his ways and you follow his ways and you walk in his ways. But a lot of times that will actually come against even religiosity, religious leaders, a lot of the world. And you might even feel alone, but fear not because God is with you wherever you go. Study Joshua 1.8, that God, God's Holy Spirit is will never leave you or forsake you. So you just have to keep on trusting in God and allow him to take you on this journey and he's going to stretch your faith but he's actually preparing us for whatever he has planned for us so uh, you know i've been hearing too that god actually has provision for your vision if you have vision for something god may put have put that on your heart and he's going to help you and lead you into it but you may think that you need to determine your steps and do this one action plan plan a plan b plan c but god's actually going to determine the steps to get there so you just have to continue trusting the Lord and it stretches out your faith and he gives a provision. So I hope this encourages you. I encourage you to get into that place of faith, which is also a place of rest. Trust in God and do your part. 
So God bless you, and I will see you next time. Peace.